friends the given problem is evaluate integral over s f bar dot n bar ds if f bar is equal to x y i plus z square j plus 2 x y k over the tetrahedron bounded by x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 z is equal to 0 and the plane x plus y plus z is equal to 1 right you see friends now we have to evaluate f bar dot n bar ds nothing but what surface integral we have to evaluate in the surface integral to evaluate the surface integral by using gauss divergence theorem also we can do is it or not so first what is the statement of gauss divergence theorem formula for the gauss divergence theorem we have double integral s yes, f bar dot n bar ds is equal to triple integral v del dot f bar dv divergence of f so first f are they given in the problem or not verify yes they are given f bar okay now f bar is equal to what they give x y i plus j, z square j plus 2 y z k i have written now i need to find out del dot f bar del dot f bar is nothing but what it is the dot product of the vector differential operator divergences dou f1 by dou x plus dou f2 by dou y plus dou f3 by dou z what is f1 x y so with respect to x if you done then what you will have y plus with respect to y you do it dou by dou y of z square is 0 dou by dou z of 2 y z is your z derivative is 1 2 y is a constant so you will have 2 y so y plus 2 y is nothing but 3 y hence here del dot f uh, d del dot f bar is 3 y so now substitute in the uh, formula then we will have a double integral s yes, f bar dot n bar ds is equal to triple integral v 3 by dv 3 is a constant you can write outside now you have a y dv so y is there here you see uh, this dv also you can write in a cartesian form dx dy dz so if you want to evaluate this uh, triple integral then nothing but a volume integral in this case you need to find the limits of x y z how to find the limits of x y z you see friends first what they give the uh, tetrahedron by x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 z is equal to 0 and the plane you have x plus y plus z is equal to 1 so to to draw this first you see friends here x is equal to 0 y 0 z 0 now x plus y plus z is equal to 1 they are given so in this case if i want to get the limits what i have to do first uh, figure if if i want to know the figure now the limits of this tetrahedron you required now on the x axis yz values are 0 put yz is 0 then x is what 1 on the suppose this you consider x axis and it is a y axis and uh, it is a z axis in this case this you consider as z axis on the x axis y y z values are 0 so you will have x is equal to 1 on the y axis x z are 0 so uh, sorry on the y axis x z are 0 so y is here 1 next on the z axis from the origin to z is how much distance 1 so this will be the our tetrahedron now we have to evaluate the surface integral over this tetrahedron from where to where means 0 to this x plus y plus z is equal to 1 it is a tetrahedron not like a cube or else cuboid whenever the cube or cuboid then we have to take the limits directly 0 to 1 y is also 0 to 1 z is also 0 to 1 but here uh, this is a tetrahedron so we need to find out the limits how to find the limits means you see here i am explaining x plus y plus z is equal to 1 if you take in now in this case only one will be independent variable one of this x y z will be independent and rest of uh, them are the independent in this case here you see you can take uh, first x uh, you can do in three types one is x is independent limits you can take or y is independent or z is uh, independent limits now i am uh, doing a uh, if i am taking x is independent limits nothing but y z will be zero so x is from zero to one now i want y value if i went to y value put z is equal to zero put z is equal to 0 then you will have x plus y plane in the x, y, x plus y is equal to 1 that is a straight line x plus y is equal to 1 y value will be 1 minus x y value will be 1 minus x so y is moving from 0 to 1 minus x in this case because you have to keep x is uh, y is uh, left side then uh, y is in terms of x y is uh, dependent on x next i want z value means z is uh, dependent on both x y values that is 1 minus x minus y now i chosen this one i have done this entire problem on based on x is independent variable now you can do y also independent y how can independent means here in this case here put xz values are 0 on the y axis x plus xz values are 0 so x is from 0 to 1 in this case now y is okay now if i uh, next i want actually x value so put z is 0 then you will have x plus y is equal to 1 in this case i want x value you know so x is 1 minus y so x is moving from 0 to 1 minus y 
next i want z value so z is nothing but keep z left side already x y values are over here so keep left uh, z left side then you will have a z is moving from 0 to 1 minus x minus y is it clear okay for, uh, try for this z is now you take z is independent so z value you want here at this point here z uh, on this uh, along the z axis x y values are 0 so x is uh, moving from 0 to 1 next you have now i want to take uh, x values if i want to take y x values to get the x values already z you know now put y is equal to 0 in this case x plus z is equal to 1 now we are in a xz plane here this is the xz plane now the limits for this means here keep x is the left side then you will have 1 minus z so 0 to 1 minus z 0 to 1 minus z next uh, i want to last one y value y value how can i get means enter to get the tetrahedron here keep y is the left side then y is dependent on that variable z and uh, x so 1 minus uh, x minus uh, is it clear so like this we have to take the limits now you see that uh, 3v you have not this one now triple integral s uh, triple integral s f bar dot n bar ds is equal we have a triple integral v 3y dv i am explain this one one moment please you see so we have the statement of uh, Gauss divergence theorem is double integral s f bar dot n bar ds is equal to triple integral v del dot f bar dv. Is it or not? Yes. From the statement f bar if they are given then we need to find out the del dot f bar. How we will find out the del dot f bar? That is we have dou f1 by dou x plus dou f2 by dou y plus dou f3 by dou z. Right. For this uh, with respect to x if you are done then you will have y. With respect to y if you are done then this will be 0. With respect to z is nothing but here you will have 2y. So 3y. Already I explained but... Uh, Again, I am uh, repeating. Anyway, now, triple integral yes, f bar dot n bar ds is equal to, you have a 3y dy. So, 3 you can take outside. Now, the limits, how you will getting, already I have discussed. So, I choose an x as independent limits. So, x is from 0 to 1, y is from 0 to 1 minus x, z is from 0 to 1 minus x minus y. So, this is clear. Now, I will solve this problem in the next place. Friends, actually, I, I have to solve, already I have done this problem. But the video was uh, deleted due to that reason only I am trying to explain, not uh, solving the problem like this. Anyway, now this is, we have, now the limits of, here you see, x limit 0 to 1, y limit 0 to 1 minus x, z limit is 0 to 1 minus x minus 1. So, z is dependent on two independent variables. y is dependent on one variable, x is independent. So, first you have to integrate with respect to x or y or z. How you can decide means, which variable is dependent on more than uh, highest independent variable. So, here z is a dependent on two variables. So, first you integrate with respect to z. Now, integrand you observe that is a y. Is there any z? No. Nothing but you can consider z is nothing but uh, z power 0. So, 1. One integration with respect to z is z. So, the lower limit of z is 0 and upper limit is 1 minus x minus y. Now, upper limit minus lower limit. So, 1 minus x minus y minus 0. That is 1 minus x minus y. Now, multiply y inside. Then, y minus y x minus y square. That's it. Now, here you observe x is from 0 to 1, y is from 0 to 1 minus x. So, x is here independent and y is a dependent. So, differentiate with respect to y first. Now, y integration is y square by 2 minus y square by 2 minus y cube by 3. Now, upper limit minus lower limit. Upper limit is here you have 1 minus x. So, 1 minus x whole square by 2 minus 1 minus x whole square into x by 2 minus 1 minus x whole cube by 3 into whole cube by 3 minus lower limit is in place of y I have to substitute 0. So, 0 minus 0 minus 0 is 0. Right. Now, you have to simplify this. Here you see friends, 1 minus x whole square, 1 minus x whole square twice is then. So, take 1 minus x whole square common, then you will have here it is a 1 and here you have a x and a denominator is also common. So, denominator is also 2 I have chosen. Now, minus the remaining as it is. Now, here you observe 1 minus x whole square, 1 minus x you have. So, 1 minus x whole cube minus uh, 1 minus... 1 minus x whole cube by 2 minus 1 minus x whole cube by 3. What is the LCM for these two? 6 is the LCM. Then you will have 3 times of 1 minus x whole cube minus 2 times of 1 minus x whole cube. 3 minus 2 is nothing but 1. So, 1 minus x whole cube by 6. Now, you have to integrate this. You know that bracket power n integration, uh, b side is there. So, power plus 1 by power plus 1. Of course, minus 1 is the not outside. Then, minus 1 only. Into minus 1 I have written. Inner derivative. Integral of this into inner derivative is this one. Now, upper limit minus lower limit. Upper limit if you are substituted, minus 3, here you see, here you have a, like a minus 3, and if you are substituted upper limit, this is a minus 3, you have, minus if I take an outset, upper limit if you are substituted, 1 minus 1 is 0, okay, minus, next lower limit if you are substituted, 1 by 24. So, minus into minus, plus 3 by 24, you have, uh, 3 by 24, 3 by 24 is nothing but what, 
वन बाई एट इज इट क्लियर फॉर एवरी वन सॉरी फॉर द इनकनवीनियंस एक्चुअली आई वॉन्ट टू ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम बट हैव एक्सप्लेन आई थिंक यू अंडरस्टूड वेरी क्लियरली थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो